Crocodiles are making a comeback. The reptiles are breeding in an unlikely environment. Fox News correspondent Phil Keating explains. And I'll release them right. And off they go. American crocodiles are crawling back from the brink of extinction and thriving at, of all places, South Florida's Turkey Point nuclear power plant. Once in danger, they are now listed as threatened, thanks in large part to the Florida Power and Light croc team. During hatching season, July and August, the croc team hops on their airboats, zigzagging up and down Turkey Point's 170 miles of nuclear cooling canals, looking for nests and rescuing hatchlings. This year, they found 27 nests and taken about 300 baby crocs back to the lab. Head length 4.0. Wildlife biologist Mike Lorette measures their length, width, and girth and inserts a tiny microchip into each tail in order to track them over their lives. They are not radioactive. That's definitely a question we get a lot. The croc team then releases the hatchlings back into the wild. 25% of the crocodile population calls this nuclear crocodile sanctuary home, which is perfect for them thanks to the canals, berms, and minimal human encounters, since it is a high security facility. This right here is an old crocodile nest, and you can still see some of the eggshells left behind. Adult females lay about 30 to 50 eggs every year, but most won't end up surviving due to predation by birds, fish, even other crocs. Besides the fact that they're so crucial for the environment, and you know, you go throughout the whole year waiting for this moment, waiting for those babies to hatch, collecting those babies, and then releasing them back into the wild, which is just the ultimate satisfaction. And from there, these cute baby crocs, at least cute for now, are ready for the world. In Homestead, Florida, Phil Keating, Fox News.